Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how I achieved this silk press look without any heat damage. So I actually did my first silk press on myself last month. Yes, it's been a month and I recently washed my hair and my curls look beautiful. So I obviously didn't get any heat damage or anything like that from it. So I decided to go ahead and do it for y'all so that y'all can know how to do it yourself. Now, like I said, last month was my first time. So I'm not saying this is the only way or the proper way to do it. But I just know that I didn't get any heat damage from it. So I'm just showing y'all my way. So if you're new here, this is your first time. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can see more of my natural hair care. And you know my lifestyle, everything like that. Because I do it all over here, okay? So let's just go ahead and hop into this video. Starting now, I'm blow drying my hair. I just washed it and conditioned it really well. Um, the day before, I actually put a deep conditioner in it. I used the Miel Rosemary and Mint deep conditioner, I believe. I'll have it linked below, but I have forgot to put in my heat protectant, so that's why I look like that. So I'm using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant, and I will usually use the 10 minute Miracle Leave-In, but I actually forgot. I guess I was just moving too fast and trying to focus on the footage, but I usually use both of these before uh, starting the whole process. So I went ahead and did my heat protectant, and I'm just gonna blow dry my hair all the way through. Why you love me? One thing I learned from my stylist um, is whenever you're blow drying, you want to make sure that you're going in a downward motion because obviously, you know, you're straightening your hair. So you want it to be as flat and straight as possible. So you want to blow dry your hair in the direction so that it can already kind of be trained, I guess, to go down and straight. Also at the roots, you're gonna see me go back in with a comb instead of the brush just to make sure that my roots are all the way dry through because I have a lot of hair and a lot of times I can blow dry my hair but I'll feel through my scalp and it'll still be wet. So the comb just really helps me to get close and make sure that it's all the way dry. I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna touch. Maybe I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Fighting on my mind. Fighting on my life. You. I'm trusting. I'm gonna do the exact same process to the other side. And then once we're done blow drying, it's I literally don't do much when I'm still pressing my hair. We're just gonna move straight into pressing it out. But I feel it in my chest and I, I want it. I want it. Yeah. is fully dry and blow dried i'm gonna go in with this freeze ease serum they actually sent me this in a pr package but ever since i started doing my own silk presses i make sure to use this and i definitely feel like it's essential to make sure that you use some type of oil before pressing your hair just so that you know you're not pressing your hair and it's dry because i think that that may cause your hair to like burn uh and damage it if it's all the way dry i'm not sure but that's what I think. So I make sure to use a little bit of oil, not too much, because you also don't want to fry it. So 
going in, I'm going to try to get as small pieces as I can because that's really how you get a nice flat and silky press. You want to make sure that the pieces that you're flat ironing are small because if you do big pieces, they're not going to really be as flat because of course the scalp area, you're not going to be able to clamp as well. I'm also only doing one pass. That's another way that I think that I achieve this whole no heat damage thing when I'm flat ironing my own hair because I really do stand by the one pass rule. I don't do more than one pass throughout my hair when I'm flat ironing because I really just feel like one pass gets the job done as long as you did the blow drying process correct. So now from here on out, I'm just going to do the same process, you know, small pieces and doing the follow up through method with my comb all over my hair. And I'm just going to turn up the music and let y'all just watch me finish this press. Second every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. I also forgot to state that the type of flat iron you use can also be a reason for heat damage. When I was going to go and get my new flat iron, I actually looked up because I wanted to get the Baby Bliss uh, Pro flat irons because like everybody loves those, the blue ones. Oh my God, I wanted those so bad. But I just so happened to look up reviews on them and I actually found out that the ceramic flat irons are better to prevent heat damage than the titanium ones. I don't really know 
why, but it's something, it's something, child. So I went with the Baby Bliss ceramic flat irons instead of the titanium. Rule a nation, I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs, lest I write it down for real. P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it. I really hope you play this, cause oh girl, you test my patience With all these seductive photographs and all these one-off vacations You've been taking, clearly a lot for me to take in It don't make sense, young East African girl You too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game, put you on a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it, maybe one day When you figure out you're gonna need someone I've got all this love, waiting just for you I just got so once I'm done, I'm going to go back over my ends one time. And that's all for my silk threads. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I hope that y'all enjoy it. I've been getting so many questions on my silk threads. And now we finally have a video. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, girls.